Hey coach, uh, I'm so happy you found us. Make sure you subscribe down below, hit the bell up above, leave some comments. We'll always respond to those. Um, also go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. If you're looking for resources, if you're looking for to become a better basketball coach, if you're looking for that one-stop shop, that roadmap, teachhoops.com down below is the answer for you. Have a great day. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome to Coaching Youth Hoops. Another week. With Bill and Steve. April. Like Bill and, what is it? Bill and Ted's something. Excellent adventure. adventure. Yeah. Change my name to Ted and we'll be all set. <laughs> that was a good movie that was keanu reeves right that uh, keanu reeves yeah yeah wow and speaking he's... of ted ted lasso new season is out did you I know. see it you know so i'm under the i'm under the philosophy i don't watch a season until it's over oh i want to so binge you're... because i'm doing work and i don't want to get to episode three and then stop ah. so like succession just started i'll have to I wait know. till it's over yeah what I will do is start watching the previous seasons to get myself caught up, but I will not watch it until it's done. You're uh, funny because I you you made a reference on our, on our last podcast about how TV used to be, mm -hmm. right? And you have to wait. I don't like it. I don't want to wait anymore. I don't want to wait because but usually I, I usually... actually like waiting because then it's like okay, I I know I can't watch anymore because there isn't anymore. anymore. Then I'm done, right? Yeah. yeah. Like my wife and I will sometimes will watch like two 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 shows of succession or whatever it might be right, right? right and then we're sitting there for two hours or more and i'm like no i don't want you know right usually to. i'm watching these like late at night when i'm doing work and stuff mm -hmm. um yeah yeah so i just watched 1923 that which is the yellowstone spinoff no, with harrison ford very good very mm -hmm. good anyway i like i love yellowstone i don't want to hear about any new show I want to be Rip. I want to be Rip. Anybody that knows Yellowstone, that's I want a cowboy hat. I want to be Rip. But anyway, um, oh, before we, uh, I was just going to jump into the topic. Before we do that, yeah, we got to talk about coaching youth hoops. We're very excited about it, right? Yes, big launch May third. Coaches, uh, it's everything. Finally, everything you need to have a successful season in one place. If you're a new coach, if you've been coaching for a while. But if you're coaching youth, this is the place to go. No more searching Google and all looking for all the random PDFs. We have a plan. It's all road mapped out for you from day one to your last day of practice, right? All right. Practice, practice plans, a road map, yep. how to how to drills. pick stuff, drills, everything you kind of need. Yeah. To go to that next. Not level. in there. Ask. We'll <laughs> yeah. We'll put it together. I tell coach, I said, trust me, they're not going to ask a question I don't have an answer for. And the worst case is I'll just, I'll just answer it. Like I'll just right. get in a whiteboard and I'll just answer it. It's not, it's not that right. like a coach for 30 plus years, I can answer any question that they're going to have, but um, get in now. Like I said, last week, it's going to be the best price you're ever going to see in this pre-launch. Cause we're not going to launch it until the beginning of May. So if you want the best price ever and lock that price in, you want to jump in now. Um, that's the first thing. Second thing is if you want a chance to win an IC3, which is one of those great shooting machines from Dr. Dish. Um, it's not a machine. It, it hooks to the basket. But anyway, you can look it up, IC3, Dr. Dish. Um, anyway, uh, we're giving one of those away. So on the launch party on May 3rd, we're going to talk about um, the winner. We'll, we'll, we'll randomly draw it. I don't know how we'll do that. We'll get one. I don't know. We'll. I'll find some random generator. I am a stats teacher. I can find something that's random. You probably can make one of the Excel. I can probably we'll make one. Just GPT to generate one for us. Ooh, yes. I don't know how random that is, though. Anyway, because random is, to, yeah, anyway, we won't get in. I, I'll go down a bad rabbit hole if we start talking about randomness. <laughs> um, but anyway, jump in now. You will, um, it's going to be the one-stop shop. Like, like I was telling Coach before we jumped on, uh, I said, the price, this is, the price is never going down. It might. Yeah. It's going to go up <laughs> at some point. But he convinced me that this price this is a good starting point for for the beta members. But we have to learn too, right? And we have to learn, and we want to learn from all of you. Um, right. So if you want or you're thinking about it, now is the time. Jump in, uh, coachingyouthhoops.com. You will not be disappointed. You won't be. I, I. You won't. I just. I just. Anyway. Um, all right, so we're going to talk about difficult players. I've never yes. had any difficult players, I, I, Coach. Have you ever had any difficult players? This is for all the other coaches who deal with difficult players. Now. Okay, okay. 
we figured we you know give them a hand help them out oh my goodness so here's the question i have for you is it difficult players or difficult parents or is it a combination of both at the youth level yeah and yeah well i think it depends what you're talking about difficult right and that we should probably define this i think when we came up with the topic it was more about those they're, they're not coachable they're talk they're complaining right that was the difficulty not difficulty in that they just don't understand it they don't understand the material you're teaching and they're just not performing or they're goofing around it's more about being just hard to coach and not coachable right i mean so it's that, almost it's almost uncoachable or more than difficult i think yes especially yeah. at the youth level um and why are they uncoachable so that's the question i think is the coaches we have to dive into that's right you know and i think they... that's the number one thing is to get to the root cause why are they uncoachable right is it just is it a parent issue behind the scenes you know the parent is talking badly about you on the car ride home right hard if you're dealing with a third grader to have right. a, to have an intellectual con- it's a little different with an eighth grader than a third grader but it, those are some difficult conversations and uh, what i think it is it's like it's about self-regulation it's about team it's about some of those building blocks that you're trying to make these yeah. young men and young women just better human beings more than right. basketball that's right yeah and i think that you bring up uh, really you know kind of number two which is to build that trust and rapport with the players even if they are in third grade right <laughs> Uh, they want to feel valued and respected. So um, that's your job as the coach is to help them and teach that behavior and model that behavior. Right, right? model it. And then also show them, like demonstrate to them, this is not the appropriate. If it's uncoachable, it's like, well, it's, it's yeah, it's like, I want to make you a better basketball player. I want to make you a better, you know, how should we act when you get frustrated? Because that's what I've seen. It, it it's a maturity level and it's also a um there's a spectrum here of you know you're going to be dealing as a youth coach with a lot of different talents a lot of different learning styles a lot of different um social emotional levels <laughs> you might have a third grader that acts like a seventh grader you might have a third grader that acts like a kindergarten yeah um so i think as as a youth coach who you know and i you and i are around education all the time it's hard that's a that's a hard that's a hard right. road to go down, I think. And it, and that's where it's like, again, going back to what I said last week, that's where if you have another adult, that's a great place to have another adult to help self-regulate, to help like an assistant coach, even though if they don't know anything, another set of eyes, another set of hands, another set of communication that can kind of help with those, some of those quote unquote difficult or coping players. Yeah. And, and, and uh, now that you, you say that too, I'm, you know, Part of what I'm putting together for the Coaching Youth Hoops site, um, working with a um, sports psychologist, is to put exercises together to help deal with some of these things as a coach. We're not trained psychologists like your like your wife is, right? So right. Give a you know. So I'm putting the tools together for coaches to to handle some of these situations, the model, and set up different really integrate it within the practice so it's seamless and um, they can help these students out. And what I've noticed with difficult players, quote unquote, or kids that are having a harder time, especially in practice is the practice isn't moving along at the, at the pay. They're bored. They're, they're unengaged. They're bored. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's same in a classroom. If, if you do that, it, that that's some of it, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and, you know, recognize you have to also, I think that, when they do something well, you have to recognize that behavior, right? I think that's an important part of the of the equation um, is, you know, praise, praise the behavior. I'm sorry, I was like, you said something else that, uh, um, that just gave me this idea of praising the behavior anyway. Um, uh, but yeah, yeah keeping I, them I, engaged, I, keeping them engaged. Keeping during engaged. Practice. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. right. yeah. they tend to get bored or they tend to not like, and then they go off into the naughty behavior. It's any, it's like That's any right. teacher. It's like if you're yeah. not, if they're not engaged, they're not. I mean, half the time they don't care about what you're teaching in class, but you got to keep them somehow engaged, or that's when the naughty behavior comes out, or that's when the unfocused or the unsportsmanlike, or you know, um, yeah. 
So, well, and I think that good behavior has to be what is good behavior. It has to be clearly outlined and the consequences for not behaving. And that's part of the, you know, the parent meeting that you, you set those clear guidelines, right? At the very beginning and then reinforce them as you needed throughout your practices. But if you don't set any expectations and the consequences, right? Their kids are always going to push. Right. Right. They're going to see what those boundaries are. And they'll see what they can get away with. And, and they'll... they'll see what they get away with. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And that, and which then, you know, you have to try to avoid those power struggles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, um, you won't win. But I mean, and, 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 and sometimes it's playing time. Sometimes it's, that's right. you know, it's, they're, they're kids. They're, they're, they're young kids and they're still developing. So I think part of it is the adult is the redirection is the, you know, what can we do that's a little bit different? All those things, I think. And I think if you do have that difficult kid, you have to address it in private between you and that kid versus calling them out. And sometimes right. it's really hard because you just, you know, you want to act out if they're, if they are misbehaving or um, there is a situation that comes out, but um, you can be more constructive with that kid later on and plus you're going to lose their respect they're going to feel embarrassed so you're going to lose their respect if you do it in front of the big crowd right, right? yeah no it, it that's that's a good point you don't like i very rarely call a player out at any level in front of their friend i mean it's a side it's a side discussion it's a side talk all those things i agree um all right anything else with that coach um I guess just active listening, right? Just listen, hear what, you know, how, if it obviously keeps up, how the meeting with their parents bring them in. You know, there could be issues at home that you, is, this has nothing to do with you, right? It has more to deal with what they're bringing um, to practice from their home situation. So right. just need to listen and figure out what that core issue is uh, and address it. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um all right, so uh, let's circle back and make sure you go over and check out coachingyouthhoops.com. <laughs> uh, you signed up before May 3rd. Yep, if you want a chance to win that IC3 or get in a drawing for that or um, get the best price that we're going to have out there. That's right, yeah. yeah. Uh, and again, part of coaching is dealing with some of the difficult things. Um, and, and, yeah. and to be honest with you, the hardest thing might be if it's your own kid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I never had that problem. Thank goodness. But yeah, I've either. seen that happen. I have. I have seen that happen. Seen it. Yep. All right. Till next week, coach. Next week, coach. Hey, coach. So glad you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and like, and go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better.